Hey, somebody's here. We're in Laguna Beach now. Not too far. Oh, and by the way, that Chet Holyfield, it's uh, Laguna Niguel. Not Aliso Viejo, it's Laguna Niguel. But we're here in the beach city of Laguna Beach, who has a public smoking ban. And uh, being a smoker, I, I felt like I needed to protest the ban. I want to, I want to protest the ban on public smoking. I got a whole bunch of these things. Anybody know what these are? Other than fake? They are fake cigarettes. They use them in plays. It's a gag thing. It's a joke. It's a, uh, it's a joke cigarette. It's fake. It's not real. But it looks pretty darn real to me. And if you blow into it, smoke comes out. You see the smoke? Well, it's not smoke, it's powder. I gotta be careful because the ordinance, you know, it says like smoke and vapor and stuff like that, right? So this isn't smoke, it's, I don't know, it's like baby powder or something like that. But when I blow on it, it sure looks like smoke, doesn't it? it even has like a little glistening red tip to it. Thank you. So we're gonna be walking around here. Police and fire stations right there. Should we go say hi? Get some video of the uh, police cars, Laguna Beach police cars. There you go, Laguna Beach police. <laughs> Hey bud, how's it going? Just a smoker here. Don't mind me. <laughs> so I just thought if I'm walking around blowing powder out of this thing. I'm kind of curious if they're actually enforcing it. They, they got signs up. They have a one of those construction billboards construction billboards when you come into the city that uh, that tell you uh, there's no smoking in the city on public out in public all right oh look it's a police car say cheese there we go <laughs> Police entrapment, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be walking around the area. Can you see that glistening? Is that red tip? It's like a I don't know, it's something shiny and it's red. But it'd be nice if I can find one that actually has a light in the end that when you blow it like oh there went beach patrol right there. Damn it. I missed him. I wish I would have been right there. Right there when he came out. I would have blown the, blown the powder out right in his face. I wonder how long of a red light that is. I wonder if I can catch up to him. Think I can catch up to him before it turns green? Maybe he'll look right at me. I'm trying to hurry. Here we go. Here we go. Beach patrol. Sir. Sir. Ah. Ah. 
Here we go. Ticket. Tickets make it. He's pulling me over. That was perfect, dudes. You ready, guys? Here we go. Hello, sir. What's up? How are you taking? Wait. For what? Are you he, for what reason? Smoking in the city. Yes. It's a gag. It's a fake cigarette. Oh. It's fake. It's not real. So how can you detain me for something that I'm not doing? So you have well, now you know I'm not, right? Now I know. Exactly. You have a nice day. Yes, you have a nice day, too. All right. Peace out. It's a gag. Bye bye. What type of cigarette is it? I don't answer questions. Oh, I remember you. Bye bye. Nice day, bye. That's right. When you go fishing, you need to use the right bait. <laughs> oh, I didn't have my GoPro on though. At least I got it live. Damn it, I forgot to turn my GoPro on. <laughs> I'm detaining you for smoking. I'm gonna give you a ticket. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh, that was classic. Sorry, I know it's petty, but I find that hilarious. He was all puffed out chest. All right, I'm detaining you. I'm gonna give you a ticket. Oh, I remember you. How soon they forget, right? How soon they forget. <laughs> oh, that was fucking perfect timing. I love it. What do you think of that, guys? What do you think of that? Police entrapment in reverse. <laughs> oh, whoa, let me turn it around. Let's see some of these comments. Stupid laws. Epic, epic. Damn straight. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's make that go viral, man. Of course, I know I'm not being called for, but I had to spread the good word with them. Bye guys! Bye. <laughs> the bird is the word. Oh. If there's any uh any pranksters out there like myself that would um like their own gag cigarettes. I got a crap load of them. I bought like a case of them. I don't know. I think I got like 24 packs of two. They come uh, two to a pack. Thought maybe uh, time to stand may want a pack of them. Go down to what was it, Coronado or something like that? That city and do the same thing. For any late tune-ins, you're going to have to uh, rewind. Short and sweet, man. That was perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right, so let's, let's start a topic here. Is it wrong? Okay. Even though, even though the police's job is to try to entrap you, and bait you with bait cars and prostitute stings and drug stings and speed traps. Is it wrong when you're trying to hold them accountable to bait police? Is it wrong to bait police? I mean, obviously bait them like I just did. And I got a big bite. Do you see that guy coming out of the car, the second one, I was walking away? Dude, he had such a serious look to his face. Dude, I thought he was going to grab me. I thought he thought I was like running away from the other officer or going to give him an attitude or something. 
Well, I gave him an attitude. I gave him the word, the good word. So, so let those comments flow. What do you think? Dude, he had a, uh, should I call him a ginger? He kind of looked kind of like a ginger. I don't think he had red hair. Maybe it was like blondish red. He was real pale though. But that uh, taller, skinnier, um, they're beach patrol. I think they're like city employees. I don't think they're actual police officers. I could be wrong. But uh, that wasn't your classic police uniform. But uh, they may not, I don't think they have arrest powers, but they may have, uh, you know, they have powers to write tickets, which is what he wanted to do to me. <laughs> but that, uh, where was that, what was they saying? Oh yeah, that taller, skinnier, pale face. Um, I'll call him a cop. Cop, dude, when he, when he stopped his car in the middle of the road, I think... When he saw me walking away, I think he thought I was fleeing. Because they weren't talking to each other at first. I think he thought I was like giving him a hard time, and which I kind of was, but I knew I was free to go. But he had a look. I'm going to have to re-watch this. Because he had a look of, I'm going to freaking grab you, and I wish, where's my damn taser? Do I got a taser? <laughs> Oh, stop! That's against the law. Ah, ah, ah. Can't touch me. Dun, 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 dun. Can't touch me. Do the Peter Griffin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm acting a fool, but call me weird. I just find that hilarious. I do. I found that hilarious. Oh, there you go. To whoever uh, didn't miss it, I hope you got a good laugh out of that because I sure did. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it. But we're going to walk around Laguna Beach for a little while. Let's switch it over. Good shit. Uh, you missed it? You got to rewind, man. You got to re rewind that shit. Oh, I keep swearing. That crap. Uh, I had to hurry and walk fast to catch up to the uh, patrol. And I, when I walked by him, I looked right at him and blew a powder out of my fake cigarette. That's right. It's a fake one. It's not real. It looks real, real. But they use these in plays, in theater, and they blow out uh, powder. So, and he's like, he's like, sir, sir. So I turn around, he's like, there's no smoking in the city. And I kind of just went, eh, whatever, and kept walking. And I think that kind of pissed him off. Because it doesn't apply to me. I'm not smoking. <laughs> oh, I might be out of powder, but that's okay. I still got another one in my pocket. I think if you tap it. If I tap it, let me tap it on my phone for a second. Yeah, there we go. You see all that? That's powder. It's not smoke. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you missed it, make sure you, uh, you start at the beginning. I'm going to probably shut the stream down. We got what we wanted. I don't see a, a crosswalk. Oh, yes, I do. It's a red. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over here. Ooh, I almost jaywalked. Got to be careful. There we go. I'm going to stop the live stream here in a minute. I'll let you guys chat it up for a little bit. Oh, maybe I'll keep it going until I get back to where I'm parked. It's gonna take me a little while to get back to where my vehicle is. I freaking paid for an hour parking.
There we go. <laughs> I'm detaining you for smoking. And I blew a big old puff of powder out. He's like, yeah, yeah. And I told him, dude, it's a, it's a fucking gag, dude. It's it's a toy. It's it's a theater prop. He's like, oh, oh, I know who you are. Okay, you're not detained anymore. Of course, because, I mean, that's illegal, in my opinion, that's illegal detainment the, at first, okay? Because they do, they do have an ordinance. So he did have a reasonable articulable, he had a ticketable offense. So he detained me. But once he realized, what, that was the test right there. Once he realized that I'm not smoking, that it is a prop, a theater prop, it's not real, it's fake, it's not a vape, it's nothing like that. He said I wasn't detained anymore. He didn't demand ID. Once the suspicion had been you know, had disappeared, all right? Once he didn't have cause to keep me detained, he let me go. So, uh, you know, my hats off to him for that, you know? I'm sure there's some cops and public employees out there who even after uh, you catch them with your gag would still keep you detained and demand your ID say well I still need your ID I still need your ID the fact that this guy didn't he said all right be on your way you got us he didn't say that but in other words that's probably what he was thinking you got us uh, he didn't detain me he told me I can go and I was already turning around and leaving and I did share the good word with him gotta spread the word Again, I do this in protest to the ordinance. All right. Sure, I kind of just trying to be an ass, but uh, but I don't like the ordinance. I got to protest it somehow, and this is my way of protesting it. It's my it's me expressing myself the way I want to. Remember, if you want to protest, it's it's nobody's business but your own on how you're going to do the protest, okay? You don't necessarily have to have a sign, okay? It's your actions, what you're doing. That's the protest also, okay? So, I'm kind of rambling, aren't I? I, was, I haven't even been looking at the comments. I'll have to read them later. Hey, hey, hey. So, yeah. We got a couple fishies with my fake cigarette. My theater prop. You gotta use the right bait sometimes. <laughs> tap, tap. Woo, that was a big puff right there. Yeah, you gotta use the right bait. Use the right bait and you get more bites. Well, thanks to everybody for uh, tuning in. All the action was in the first like three minutes of the video. That is other than me just walking around Laguna Beach, talking to you guys and myself here. I wonder if he called it in and warned him. Or if we'll get any other... Uh, all right, there's no way for me to signal. Or, uh, I wonder if I get stopped by it. Let's, should we go for, uh, should we go for another nibble? The station in City Hall is right down there, or the fire department. He probably spread the word. 
like I expressed the good word to him because we all know what the word is, right? Go for it. Go, go, go. All right, we'll go back. We'll try to get another bite as long as you guys are still tuned in. We'll try to get another nibble. It's right down there, the fire department and the police department. This is where the interaction occurred, right here on the other side of the street. It didn't last too long. And yes, I flipped them off after. Not necessarily because they deserved it. Just because I wanted to express myself in the way that I wanted to. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Alright. So we're heading back towards my vehicle as well as back towards the police department and the fire department and I believe City Hall. With my fake cigarette. Tap, tap, tap. I knew. I knew I'd find some overzealous punk. I knew I'd find one. All day parking for three dollars. Lumber yard permit allowed. No change given and no refunds. Oh, isn't that nice? Hey, that's against the law. You're coming with me. Uh, uh, uh. Can't touch me. City Hall North. Yeah, so City Hall is here. There's the flag. I totally set that guy up. I looked right at him and blew a big old puff of powder out. See, there's the main entrance to City Hall right there. Council Chambers, Police Department. Sandbags. Yeah, we'll get some more video. We'll get some more video of the Laguna Beach police. Deposit your unwanted prescription drugs here. Ooh, I wonder if there's anything good in there. Proudly serving our community. Laguna Beach Police. There's like a little, little memorial thing. It's kind of tight in here, but you can sit down on these benches. It says honor, sacrifice, Oh, that's all? Oh, it's got a flag on the back. What's it say over here? Courage. It's got a couple officers' names. You will never reach your dreams without honoring others along the way. John Paul Warren. Hmm. A little remembrance. Laguna Beach Police Department. Boy, how many places do they need the word police? I mean, it's everywhere. No food, smoking, pets, or cell phones in the entrance. City of Laguna Beach. Business hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. After hours, use the call button. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, here comes one right here. 
Oh, it's fire department, not a police. It's a bat battalion chief, huh? Battalion chief. Hey, buddy, you mind if I tap my fake cigarette on your head? Don't be rude. Why aren't you talking back to me? Oh, there's a lizard. It's a lizard. You want to be a star? There you go. What's up, buddy? <laughs> lizard TV. There's the fire department. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be hassled anymore. Downtown Laguna. There's no fire here, guys. Oh, I guess they're pulling in. They must have been on a call, so they're pulling back into the station. Don't don't mind us. Eh, there's no cops coming out. I'm going to wrap it up, guys. I think the word got spread. The word got spread pretty fast. That junkyard news guy is pranking us again. Does he have a case? No, he's got a fake cigarette. And he got us. <laughs> Yeah. Well, definitely appreciate you guys tagging along on my walk. If any uh, pranksters out there want a couple of these um, theater props, these a package of these fake cigarettes, you should send me a message. So tell me where to send it. I'll mail you a pack. I don't mind. You know what? Don't put it in the comments or whatever. You can just send me a, uh, a message on my Facebook page, uh, a private message, or you can go to my channel page and send me a private message. Um, and tell me where to send it. Give me an address and I'll mail you a pack. Okay. Gotta tap it again. <laughs> oh, these things are great. I love these things. All right, guys. We're gonna end the stream. Thanks to everybody that uh, tagged along on my walk today in Laguna. And uh, to anybody who watched me over uh, on the boring video at uh, Chet Holyfield Federal Building. You guys are talking and chatting it up. We're going to go ahead and uh, stop the stream. If uh, you liked what you saw earlier, my little interaction with the cops, or fake cops, whatever they were, you... Uh, Smash that like button, man, and share it. All right. Clean the boogers out of my nose. Do I got boogers in my nose? Sorry, guys. Here, I'll put it up like this. 
<laughs> you know, us old men, we have hair growing out of everywhere. Our ears, our noses, our nostrils. All right. All right, so hopefully you can't see any buggers in my nose now, okay? But uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for everybody that watched, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>